Hi everyone, now we're going to talk about indeterminate difference, which is indeterminate form of the type infinity minus infinity. Okay. This type infinity minus infinity is not one of those two emergency type that we will rush to the hospital and apply lobby tiles right away. Uh, instead, we're going to perform some CPR before sending it to the hospital and apply lobby tiles through. What kind of CPR we can perform here? So then we can change this type into one of the two emergency type. Well, today we're going to go through three different methods. The first one will be factor out a common factor. The second one will be use a common denominator. And the third one is rationalize it. If you factor out a common factor, and then you're going to turn that into this type zero times infinity. And then later on, you can change to one of these two emergency type. When you use a common denominator, you're going to turn that into a single quotient. It will be either this type or this type. And if you rationalize it, you're going to want to turn that into uh, this two emergency type right there. Now, after you have this two emergency type right here, then you can rush to the hospital and apply lobby tiles through. Okay. So I'm going to give you one example for each one of those uh, methods. This example over here, uh, let's see what type is this. As x approaching to power 2 from the left side, secant of x is going to approach to infinity, and tangent x also approach to infinity. So this is the type infinity minus infinity and it is indeterminate. So what can I do over here so that I can change to either zero over zero or infinity minus infinity? So notice that we can we write this secant and tangent in terms of sine and cosine. Secant over here is one over cosine. So that is one over cosine x. Tangent x is sine x over cosine x. When we write them this way, you see I can use this common denominator to combine them into one single quotient. Now, what type of this one? As x approaching to power 2 from the left side, sine of x is going to approach to 1. 1 minus 1 will be 0. So you're going to have a 0 on top. The denominator, cosine x, is going to oppose to 0 also. So this will be a 0 over 0 type. So it's one of the two emergency type. So we're going to send it to the hospital and apply log it as well. We're going to differentiate the numerator. So that will give us negative cosine x. And differentiate the denominator, that will give us negative sine x. As x approaching to power 2 from the left side, Cosine x is going to approach to 0, sine x approaching to 1. So 0 over negative 1 is 0. So the number over here will be 0. And the method that we have used here is we use a common denominator. So then we can combine them into a single quotient. Okay. This second example over here, notice that it is the type of infinity minus infinity. So it is an indeterminate form. So what can I do over here to convert that to one of the two emergency type, which is zero over zero or infinity over infinity? You see that there is a radical over here. So how about we rationalize it by times the conjugate of that? So we're going to times the conjugate of that. Up and down. Okay. So the method we have used here is to rationalize it. When we rationalize this, that will become this expression over here. Notice that the x squared and minus x squared here will cancel. That will give you x in the numerator. And the denominator will be the square root of x squared plus x and then plus x over here. 
Now we want to see what type is this before we consider further action. So note, notice that the numerator go to infinity and the denominator also go to infinity. So this is an infinity over infinity type. So it's one of the two emergency type. However, uh, we don't want to use the orbitals rule right here uh, because that's a simple way. Um, notice that up here and down here, we can divide the highest power of x in the denominator. This is x to the first power and square root of x squared will be x to the first power also. So the highest power of x in the denominator will be x to the first power. So we're gonna divide by x to the first power. Up and down. Okay. By doing this, the numerator will get one and the denominator, we got this. But how do I get this? Um, if you do the algebra, when x is going to pause at infinity, x is greater than zero. So x is the same as positive square root of x squared. So divide by x is the same as divide by positive square root of x squared. And you can divide them this way. And that will be the, this result over here. Now notice that when x go to infinity, what happened over here is one over x is going to go to zero. So the limit for this will be one over one plus one, which is one half. So this indeterminate difference, infinity minus infinity here, the result here is one half. Example three. Well, what will be this type? As x go into infinity, one over x is going to go to zero. E to the zero is going to be one. So that, so this chain over here is going to go to infinity. The second chain here, this x here, is going to go to infinity. So this will be um, infinity minus infinity type. So it is an indeterminate difference. So what can I do so that we can change to one of the two emergency type? Notice that they have the same factor, a common factor x over here. How about we take out this common factor x? So we're going to take out this common factor x over here. Then x is going to go to infinity and e to the x goes to one. One minus one will be zero. So this factor here will go to zero. So this will be the type, zero times infinity type. It's not the emergency type yet. However, we're getting closer to it, okay? But don't send it to the hospital right now. We need to still do some CPR. Now, when you get this type of indeterminate product, zero times infinity, the CPR that you can perform here is to keep one function in the numerator and then we divide by the reciprocal of the other function. So which one would you like to keep it to the numerator? Well, we want to keep the more complicated one to the numerator because that way one over the reciprocal, the other one is less complicated. So we're going to keep this complicated one here to the numerator and then divide by 1 over x. This x here uh, times x is the same as divide by the reciprocal of x, so divide by 1 over x. Now this will become the type of 0 over 0. So it is one of the two emergency type. So we can send it to the hospital. Okay. Differentiate e to the 1 over x. Notice that the outer function is e to the u. The inner function is 1 over x. So we need to apply the chain rule. So the derivative of that will be e to the 1 over x times the derivative of 1 over x. So that will be e to the 1 over x times negative 1 over x squared. So when we differentiate the numerator, we get e to the 1 over x times negative 1 over x squared. And when we differentiate the denominator, that will be negative one over x squared. And you see that the negative one over x squared here cancel. 
that will give us e to the one of x. As x going to infinity, e to the one of x goes to e to the zero. e to the zero is equal to one. So this type of indeterminate difference over here, in this case, is equal to one. Infinity minus infinity is not necessarily equal to zero. Okay. So sometimes it could equal zero, sometimes equal one half, and sometimes equal to other number. And that's why it's called indeterminate. Now we're gonna watch a cartoon that make to summarize indeterminate form that we had talked about so far. you recall from the cartoon that you just watch okay if you have the limit of this type uh, infinity of infinity or zero over zero then you can rush it to the hospital right away and apply Novita's rule directly if you have an indeterminate product zero times infinity or indeterminate difference infinity minus infinity then do not rush to the hospital and you need to perform some CPR before you rush them to the hospital. So for zero times infinity, the CPR that you can perform here is to keep one of the function to the numerator, and then you divide by the reciprocal of the other function. That way you can rewrite this into zero over zero or infinity over infinity type. And then we can apply Novita's rule after. If it's infinity minus infinity time, so three of the CPR that we can perform here is, one is to rationalize it, uh, second one will be use a common denominator, and the third one is to take out a common factor. But in this, um, we will change the, that type into one of these two types and then we can send them to the hospital and apply lovely task through. So this is the end for today's lesson and I'll see you guys next time.